terror always seeks to separate us from those we most love. Through their suffering, courage, and compassion, Parisians are reminding us that the common bond of humanity is strongest when the need is greatest. We pledge our prayers for everyone who suffers from this horrific violence and our advocacy to support all those work working to build just and peaceful societies. To the people of France, we mourn with you and honor the lives lost from several nations, including our own. To our brothers and sisters in the church in France, your family in the United States holds you close to our hearts. May the tender and merciful love of Jesus Christ give you comfort during this great trial and lead you on a path toward healing and peace. On the same day as the Paris tragedy, bombs exploded in Baghdad and in Beirut, killing dozens of Muslims. For Christians in the region, the situation is, of course, very grave. We must speak out more forcefully than ever before on this tide of deadly hate. We certainly anticipate there will be kind of a, a fearful response, but that uh, people need to know that our country engages in a very serious vetting process for all the refugees that we assist in placing. So there is already a very stringent process in place, and I suspect that uh, because of the terrible violence this past weekend that they may even add more layers, but there is already a very good process in place. I had the opportunity to meet with uh, President Obama on, on Friday at his request, and I also will be meeting with uh, uh, the leadership of both the House and Senate uh, on, uh, on Thursday. And one of the areas we're looking at is our uh, bipartisan efforts to be able to reach out exactly as uh, Archbishop Wester said, in a manner that, that f uh, fully takes into account the safety both for the refugee families and for those where they'll be resettled, uh, as well as our capacity to reach out to people of all faith, but of course to include uh, the, the, the people who, especially the Christians, who have been uh, suffering mightily. I think people of all faith have suffered, we know that. Peace, peace,